Right. Now, we're now on to Nicola Robinson, uh, AA Tech Data Dashboard. Is that right? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just to find out why Alcoholics Anonymous need a tech dashboard, but I'm sure you'll illuminate that further. <laughs> You're sure I know, Adam. Yep. Good afternoon. I'm Nicola Robinson, Senior Information Analyst for the Home Health Monitoring Programme in Ayrshire, the tech programme. Um, I'm here to tell you a little bit about our tech development programme. Sorry. Second, that's us. <laughs> uh, to tell you about our data dashboard development that we've been working on over the last few months. Um, first of all, what is a data dashboard? Uh, a data dashboard is used to visualise and communicate important business information to your stakeholders and employees within the organisation. Um, as I say, we are doing this for home health monitoring. At the moment, we have um, we have a lack of meaningful information. We have uh, data going into systems. We're struggling to get good data back out of the systems. Um, we need to evidence the impact of the program for our evaluation and to report back um, for our performance management as well. The systems at the moment we have are standalone. We, we need to be able to join that data. The reporting capability within the systems is quite limited in that um, we can't join up for a patient journey. So for example, we have patients who monitor for COPD on home pods, who then step down to lower level monitoring on the Florence text message based system. We cannot track that full patient journey at this point in time. So we want to be able to basically provide a one stop shop for our reporting um, in the form of a, da a dashboard. This will aid the clinicians in managing patients, the, the tech admin team that we have in our tech hub. It will also um, inform the evaluation. It will support the national submissions that we have to provide on a, a monthly basis, submitted quarterly, and also our own senior management team and the partnership IGB boards as well. So I think to think about it, um, I would like to think of baking a cake. Um, you need your, your basic ingredients. You have to bring your ingredients together to produce, if you think about the Bake Off, a very pretty, fancy, tasty cake at the end of it. Um, so the, the data sources down the left side of the slide, um, that's our ingredients. So we have our tech systems, the, the HomePod system is the top. We have our SMS text message based system, which sits separately from the HomePods. We want to be able to combine that with hospital data, our core health data sets as well. So our admissions data, a &E data, but also looking at GP data outpatient clinic data and probably SPARA uh, data as well as far as risk prediction, um, the risk of admission to hospital. We're bringing that into our data warehouse, which is business objects, is what we use in Ayrshire. And from there, the data can be linked using our CHI number. We can then analyze that and produce our cake at the end of our dashboard. Um, from the dashboard, that supports information around our key performance indicators. Uh, we can also do trend analysis, patient level, identifiable reporting, um, and, and drill down reports as well. The long term aim is as well to be able to pull the information from our business object system into our performance management system, which is covalent in Ayrshire and Darren, and that's what allows the data sharing with partnerships. This slide just gives a very brief summary of some of the reports we've developed. The top left is our key performance indicators, which you won't be able to focus on the detail, but that's, that's a scorecard type of report. To the right hand side is the trend analysis. So you've got your historical data with graphs um, and, and the data tables as well. And at the bottom, the patient identifiable type of information as well. Um, it's currently still in development. The challenges that we've faced to date um, Obviously, Caldecott and information sharing, um, we anticipated more of a problem there than it actually has been. We've worked very closely with our information governance team, and the head of information governance has been really supportive and given good advice. Um, so the Caldecott approval has gone through. Our data extracts, we've worked closely with third-party suppliers to further develop those. One of the big issues we have just now is our text messaging service. We put CHI into the system, but we're not getting it back out. Um, so we need to be able to have the CHI number on our data extracts to allow that linkage to happen. So we're working away with that just now. And the other aspect we have is that data extracts at the moment have to be run manually. Um, that's time consuming, there's risk of error. So what we want to do is have that automated and to improve the frequency at the, at the moment it's monthly, moving to weekly reporting. 
However, if we can get the open API that we need, that allows the automated extracts to be pulled through from our system to, um, to automate the, the, full, uh, the full dashboard. Future for our dashboards, we would like to be able to incorporate telecare. The challenges we envisage there is data sharing. Um, thank you very much for listening. I think I'm about to. <laughs> thank you.